a catchweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner, the British lightweight champion, the Dynamite King. His opponent on my left and in the blue corner, the new British welterweight champion, Jim the Brave. Thank you, Mike Judd. And our final bout this afternoon at catchweight, the Dynamite Kid, the British lightweight champion, and the man he took that title off some time ago, who now, as you probably saw a few days ago on, on television, uh, from the Albert Hall, Jim Brakes, the new welterweight champion of Great Britain, having won it off, uh, well, actually, it was a uh, vacant title he got from Vic Faulkner. So Jim Brakes in the dark trunks with the stripes versus Dynamite Kid. The first round. And Jim Brakes from Bradford at 11 stone two now. He's uh, gone up a little bit into the welterweight bracket. He hasn't bothered to train down to the lightweight recently, but he could do it quite easily. And the dynamite kid from Gold, Goldbourne near Warrington. He's at 11 stone. So nothing in it weight-wise. Breaks with the most experience, of course. And the silver trunks of uh, Dynamite Kid is going to have a little bit of problem here this afternoon. Max Ward, still the referee in charge, and he knows breaks of old, of course, so he's going to watch his tricks very closely indeed. Laid on there by Briggs. Oh, yes. Instep got him off nicely. For the first time, Dynamite Kid really wakes up and goes. Now it's Briggs running the slow, as always. <laughs> the amount of times he does up that uh, wrestling boot lace all the way through the bar tries to get his man looking the other way so he can attack unawares. One fall decides this catchweight contest. Two champions in the ring. The welterweight breaks and the lightweight. The dynamite kid. Both, of course, champions of Great Britain. And yet Jim Breaks is only two pounds heavier this afternoon than his opponent in the weight below. Because the upper limit of the lightweight, of course, is 11 stone, so anything over that is in water weight class. <laughs> the kid shaping up for a straight arm lift. Got to get breaks into that position too. I never did think that. Forever complaining, Jim Brace. He never stops. It's okay if he bends the rules, but it's not. He's not happy at all if his opponent ever does, or he, he tries to make out that he does. I don't think I've ever seen the Dynamite Kid uh, bend the rules unintentionally, not until he gets a little bit angry. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> now let's see what happens with the kid trying it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Caught him the third time, all right. And Brake still complaining. And he'll complain more now. <laughs> oh, 
Max Ward sweat pouring down his face there. Breaks the ear hole the only way he knows how and breaks this one like it at all. Just one minute to go in this first round of six. And one fall decides it, remember. to take that hand. Oh, well, surprise, surprise. He didn't take advantage of it for once. Perfectly legal. He the hand. He turned the head as he went then, eight seconds. Still complaining there. And a microphone being put up in front of him there. Second delay, round two. Well, Jim Bates still complaining to all in Sunday. Round two, five to go. comes out and joins us on our commentary table at ringside. He just went over the top rope and landed on it, fortunately for him and all of us, I think. <laughs> oh, nice throw, oh, beautiful wrench. This one. No, he didn't go. Uh oh, and this time the kid is out on our table. But no harm to him this time. Either. And still the fingers. Curiously near the mouth there. I don't know if it's the corner or if it's inside the mouth, but it's released now anyway. As the referee came around this side. Chin, double handed, and both knees just in the top vertebrae. Paul Nelson can hardly reach it. And he is. Brace oh. <laughs> will not like this. Really, really get it up a bit then. <laughs> Rushing for the ropes. That's an arm leader held by the feet, but his hand should be off the rope. Uh, he must have heard me. to go in the second and still that arm lever held by the feet not against the joint but it's still pretty firm are you asking him what or not i think you're messing about 
a public warning for dissent. The referee gives first public warning to Jim Brake. <laughs> that time he caught the kid off completely uh, off concentration there, uh, completely unawares. Oh yes, sole of the foot, nice defense there. Okay. Back to the center of the ring, cross press, very deliberate. I'm surprised he hasn't even thought of trying his uh, special, great special arm lever yet. He might be thinking of it now. He starts with the double wrist lever. That's the number to go this second round. That's the position of it. 30 seconds to go. He generally prefers it when his man is standing. Come on, Askin. Get the cameras on this. Come on. 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 Nicely out by the kid and punched by Brakes, and that really starts trouble. The kid's lost his cool now in this interval. The end of round two. And referee Maxwell trying to cool it from the kid's point of view this time. Well, this boy from near Warrington really lost his temper then. Seconds away, round three. That Brakes punch came in, and the kid went just a little bit wild for a moment there. But no public warning, just one to break so far, and of course this is a one-four contest, so no score with four rounds to go. Trying to get his head over that time and do his uh, completed somersault. Give it a rest, referee right there. That heel of the wrist move can be deceptive. But sometimes the fingers, because they're curled over, look as though it's a clenched fist, but it isn't. the first time, landed him in the backhand. And uh, the kid's nose bleeding quite badly now as he comes over our way again. It's time to stop, stop showing the rocks. And Brakes going in for the special lift and he's got his... No, the kid's got his knees up there grabbing the Brakes body and therefore taking the pressure off. Lovely wrench there, goes in front of the folding press and the kid can have it here, three, he's done it the kid's done it and Briggs will be really angry about that he had the, the boat in his pocket but in one minute, 25 seconds around three, the kid came back with a glorious folding press very suddenly, caught him unawares just as he thought he got it and the winner, the dynamite kid in the third Mike Judd Ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, the Dynamite Kid is putting on weight every day and he wants to know why he can't be the British World of Weight Champion. <laughs> so if he goes on like that, he could easily be. Your work, not good enough. <laughs> He's just beaten him. <laughs> but anyway, this... Arsenal won't beat Leeds United, but they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> this battle of words could go on all afternoon, so it's time we said goodbye from all of us here at the Pavilion Hamel Hampstead. We hope you've enjoyed it, and have a good week.